process that's done uh, 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 on its own, separately, uh, but certainly I don't have any uh, conversation to read out. Just another one. Um, are, are, is the administration planning for different contingencies as it relates to the case over the abortion pill? Particularly as yesterday, it seemed that ju the judge seemed receptive to the argument that the pill is unsafe. So I want to be careful here. I'm not going to get into uh, any litigation that's currently happening. Uh, uh, get stay out of or put, say anything uh, that might get in the way there. But this is about FDA's authority uh, to make its independent, evidence-based uh, decision on drugs. This is what this is about. Decisions on what medication can be used in our country should not be determined in a court. They should be determined based on their safety, science, and the data. And so the bottom line is that uh, mifeprestone is safe, and there is no question about that. We know that because it's been around for two decades. It's in more than 60 countries across, across the globe, clearly. It, is, it has been exhaustively shown to be safe with real data on countless occasions, and it has been used in this country, again, for more than 20 years. So we'll wait for the next steps. Not going to get involved in what the judge said uh, yesterday. We're going to see uh, where this goes, and, uh, and we're not going to say much more from here. I just uh, on that, there was some criticism about the White House after the draft decision of Roe v. Wade, or the, the opinion that overturned Roe v. Wade that they felt the White House had weeks to prepare for the what became the overturning of that opinion, and uh, activists and even some Democratic lawmakers felt that the White House did not have a robust plan in place to respond to that. So I'm wondering, in this case, is there planning underway here at the White House in the uh, in case this? this There's this been goes? discussion uh, here at the White House about what could happen next uh, in case the judge decides to uh, make this really uh, unprecedented, potentially unprecedented decision. But I just want to go back to uh, the Roe v. Wade and what and and uh, the criticism that you just said that we received. And I would dispute those. I would dispute those with criticism because on the day, uh, because on the day that it it happened, you heard from the president. He laid out uh, some executive actions. Uh, from from this White House on how to move forward. Uh, this is a president and the vice president has been very vocal on, on the pr making sure that the health of women are protected uh, across uh, just across the country. We're talking about millions and millions of women. And he's going to continue to do that. That is not going to change from this White House. Uh, and uh, we've continued to take action uh, since then uh, through the HHS and other and DOJ. Uh, and other uh, parts of his administration. This is a, an issue that's important to this administration. And again, what can potentially occur here uh, is, uh, is uh, sadly, uh, you know, unprecedented. And this is, uh, this is going to put uh, all, everything that we have seen since June when Roe and uh, Roe v. Wade was, uh, was, was uh, taken away from women, uh, puts women's lives in, in danger. And now we're seeing uh, anti-abortion legislation across the country, again, dangerous uh, to the health of women. Uh, and we're seeing, uh, you know, national Republicans talking about uh, a national ban. Again, that is dangerous uh, to women. That's something that the President's going to continue to speak out against. Go ahead, Chris. 